Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. Look at the beautiful clouds. Look at that. White and fluffy, fluffy, fluffy clouds. And the sky is so blue. The clouds is like dancing. <laughs> so does the leaves. The wind is blowing. Look at that. Hallelujah. What a beautiful place to behold. Birds chirping. Trees are green. Oh, hallelujah. Just want to sit down. I don't like to do anything. I am not going to go for a walk because after this I will go walk down to the center to buy their lunch grandparents lunch so sitting down here for a while enjoying the beauty hallelujah thank you father oh i praise you lord we praise your father and we glorify you oh god you are worthy of glory and honor and praise father you're so, so good. You're so wonderful. You're so awesome. You're so loving. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, Jesus. The name above all names. Sanctify your heart. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. We enthrone you. We proclaim you are King, standing here in the midst of us. We raise you up with our praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We raise you up with our praise. This is so cute, isn't it? It's green. Look. Uh, looks like a twigs, a flower or something. It's beautiful. Uh, there's so many things that we can enjoy that is taken for granted actually, but look, <laughs> oh, hallelujah, thank you Father, there are also tiny purple flowers around here, it's teeny weeny, itsy bitsy, just like this, see, it's purple, <laughs> purple in color and green, uh, it's purple and green really goes long very well hallelujah father thank you lord for your word we are going to read your word help us to understand as we read your word give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you father as we read your word in jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen thank you father come let's sing song first hallelujah thank you father Getting what lies behind. <laughs> Let's go for time of refreshing. Time of refreshing. Hearing your presence. Hearing your presence, Lord. Look at the twig, it's swinging <laughs> because of the wind. <laughs> it's so refreshing in here, really. Thank you, Father. Indeed, time of refreshing. Time of refreshing, hearing your presence, hearing your presence, Lord, no greater blessing than being with you, than being with you, my soul is restored. Oh, my mind is renewed There's no greater joy, Lord Amen Than being with you Hallelujah There's no greater joy, Lord Than being with you Hallelujah In your presence Yes, God, in your presence There is fullness of joy at your right hand there are pleasures evermore 
you surround us with your favor, O oh Lord. The earth is filled with your goodness. The earth is filled with your love. Exceedingly, abundantly. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, so exceeding and abundant. God, of your love towards us. Hallelujah. Exceedingly, abundantly, you give us all things to enjoy. Yes, you give us all things to enjoy. Hallelujah. <laughs> the earth is full of your goodness. The earth is filled with your love. Hallelujah. Such joy. Such unspeakable joy, such love, and everlasting love, such peace. Hallelujah. And everlasting peace, oh hallelujah. Spirit, have your way in me. Spirit, have your way in me. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Don't grow weary in doing well. Don't surrender in the fight. Yes, never give up. <laughs> Keep on storming the gates of hell. Keep on doing what you know is right. For there will be seasons of testing. And there will be weeping for a night. But soon we'll be reaping the blessing. If we keep pressing on towards the prize. Keep on praying in the spirit. Keep on walking in the light. Don't be fearful or discouraged keep on doing what you know is right hallelujah keep on doing what you know is right oh yes <laughs> we'll be faithful yes we will be faithful forgetting what lies behind sitting our hearts on the prize always keeping on our eyes on our lord jesus hallelujah Running the race to win. Amen. All the way to the end. Laying down every sin that would seek to hinder us. For and we'll be faithful. Hallelujah. To our calling. For you are able to keep us from falling. Yes, Father. You are able to keep us from falling. Yes. Hallelujah. For in your promise, yes, Lord, your promise works to us, hallelujah. We will trust, you'll be faithful to finish the work you begun in us. Yes, Lord, that's what the word of God says, that you'll be faithful to the, to the, to finish the works you began in us, Lord, because it's you who started it, Lord. It's not us, it's you, Lord, hallelujah, it's you. You are the one who put it in our hearts, Father. And so, Lord, it will come to pass. It will come to reality. Father, yes, we will keep on walking. We will keep on doing what you have promised us. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. Oh, God, you are worthy of glory and honor and praise. Father, thank you. We love you so much. Thank you, Lord, for your promised works. Come, mga mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word in the book of Acts. Now we are now in the book of Acts, chapter 11, verse, um, oh no, 11 and 12. We read 11 and 12 yesterday. We just finished 12, chapter, chapter 12, verses. Uh, verses 19 
Now we will keep on reading verse 20. Death of Herod and Agrippa. Yesterday we, we learned that Peter escaped from, had a miraculous escape from prison. As Peter in chapter 11, he explains the actions, his actions. And James was being imprisoned and killed. James was killed and Peter was imprisoned and Peter escaped from prison. And now this is death of Herod Agrippa. Now Herod was very angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon. So they sent a delegation to make peace with him because their cities were dependent upon Herod's country for food. The delegates won the support of Blastus, Herod's personal assistant, and an appointment with Herod was granted. When the day arrived, Herod put on his royal robes, sat on his throne, and made a speech to them. The people gave him great ovation, shouting, It's the voice of God, not of man. Instantly, an angel of the Lord struck Herod with a sickness. Mm -hmm. Because, of course, it's not the voice of God. It's the vo voice of man. It's the voice of Herod. <laughs> and so, Herod instantly, Herod gets, was with a sickness. Mm -hmm. Instantly, an angel of the Lord struck Herod with sickness because, of he, of, because he accepted the people's worship instead of giving the glory to God. So, he was consumed with worms and died. Meanwhile, the word of God continued to spread and uh, there were many new believers. When Barnabas and Saul had finished their mission to Jerusalem, they returned taking John Mark with them. Barnabas, Saul are commissioned. Among the prophets and teachers of the church at Antioch of Syria, where Barnabas Simeon called the black man, Lucius from Cyrene, Manain, Manain, the childhood companion of King Herod Antipas, and Saul. One day, as these men were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Dedicate Barnabas and Saul for the special work to which I have called them. So after more fasting, fasting and prayer, the men laid their hands on them and sent them on their way. Paul's first missionary journey. So Barnabas and Saul were sent out by the Holy Spirit. They went down to seaports of Seleucia and then sailed for the island of Cyprus. There in the town of Salamis they went to the Jewish synagogues and preached the word of God. John Mark went with them as their assistant. Afterward they traveled they traveled from town to town across the entire island until finally they reached Paphos where they met a Jewish um, sorcerer, a false prophet named Bar Jesus. He had attached himself to the government, Sergius Paulus, who was an intelligent man. The governor invited Barnabas and Saul to visit him, for he wanted to hear the word of God. But Elmas, the sorcerer, as his name means in Greek, interfered and urged the governor to pay no attention to what Barnabas and Saul said. He was trying to keep the governor from believing. Saul also, known as Paul, this is why Saul became Paul. Saul, also known as Paul, was filled with the Holy Spirit and looked the sorcerer in the eye. Then he said, You son of the devil, full of every sort of deceit and fraud, and enemy of all that is good. Will you never stop will you never stop perverting 
the true ways of the Lord? Watch now, for the Lord has laid his hand of punishment upon you, and you will be struck blind. You will not see the sunlight for some time. Instantly, mist and darkness came over the man's eyes, and he began groping around, begging for someone to take his hand and laid him. Mm -hmm. When the governor saw what had happened, he became a believer. Mm -hmm. Wow. For he was astonished at the teaching about the Lord. Praise God. Yeah, so the Lord is really so powerful. Paul preaches in Antioch and Pisidia. Paul and his companion then left Paphos by ship for Pamphylia, landing at the port town of Perga. The mark there, John Mark left them and returned to Jerusalem. But Paul and Barnabas traveled inland to Antioch of Pisidia. On the Sabbath, on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath, they went to synagogue for the services. After the usual readings from the books of Moses and the prophets, those in charge of the service went sent them this message. Brothers, if you have any word of encouragement for the people, come and give it. So Paul stood, lifted his hand to quiet them, and he started speaking. Men of Israel, he said, and you, God-fearing Gentiles, listen to me. The God of this nation of Israel chose our ancestors and made them multiply and grow strong during their stay in Egypt. Then, with a powerful arm, he led them out of their slavery. He put up with them through 40 years of wandering in the wilderness. Then, he destroyed seven nations in Canaan and gave their land to Israel as an inheritance as this took about 450 years. After that, God gave them judge to rule until the name, the time of Sam, Samuel the prophet. Then the people bid for a king and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, who reigned for 40 years. But God removed Saul and replaced him with David a man about who God said, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. As, and it is one of the King David's descendants, Jesus, who is God, promised Savior of Israel. Before he came, John the Baptist preached that all the people of Israel indeed be repented to repent, of people of Israel to repent in their sins and return to God and be baptized. As John was finished his ministry, he asked, Do you think I am the Messiah? No, I'm not. But it is coming soon, and I am not even worthy to be his slave and untie the sandals of his feet. Brothers, you sons of Abraham and also you God-fearing Gentiles, this message of salvation has been sent to us. The people of Jerusalem and the leaders did not recognize Jesus as the one of the prophets and spo that had spoken about. Instead, they condemned him, and in doing this, they fulfilled the prophet's words that are read every Sabbath. They found no legal reason to execute him, but they asked Pilate to have him killed anyway. When they had done all that the prophet said about him, they took him down from the cross and replaced him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and over a period of many days, he appeared to those who had gone with him 
from Galilee to Jerusalem. They are now his witnesses to the people of Israel. Wow, this is so powerful. It's just a mouthful of Paul, the testimony about <laughs> Abraham through Jesus and David to David to Jesus. Oh, God, thank you. Oh, Father, we learned something again today. Lord, as we meditate again your word which you have uh, given to us, Father. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Help us to understand again, Lord, that our faith will go deeper, oh, Father, as we listen again to what Apostle Paul said. Apostle Paul, who was Saul, <laughs> then uh, we learned that he became Saul, actually. Father God, yes. Saul, also known as Paul, hallelujah. Father God, thank you. And uh, it was a powerful picture that uh, Paul did in the Antioch of Pisidia. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, because it's just so, so, so little and we learn something from this as well. Oh, God, indeed, you rest from the dead. Hallelujah. And you are the one whom the prophets has been talking about from the beginning in the Old Testament. Oh, Jesus, rest and now you are with us. Um, hallelujah. Lord, thank you for your word. Let's continue again reading this tomorrow. On verse 29. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 32, yes. We will start 32 tomorrow. But we will review again a few of these verses. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mga Mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. You may continue to read on your own as well. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. Father, you are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mga Mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye, take care and God bless. See you again tomorrow. Bye.